What's up bros, and welcome to part 11 of my LEGO Marvel Zombies series. Now today, I'm going to be showing some more Marvel Zombies that I've made, so let's get down to business. Now for the first Marvel Zombie in today's video, we have Sentry. Now, this custom minifigure was requested by Skylarstone6137, shout out to them, but the legs of this custom minifigure are just some dual molded yellow and black legs. The torso we're going to be using is from a Parademon from the Justice League movie. Then, we're going to take some dual molded black and yellow arms and attach them to the torso. We also have some dark blue hands attached as well. Then we're going to take this dark blue Batman cape and attach it to the torso. Then we're going to take this zombie Captain America headpiece and attach it to the torso as well. And then for the last piece we're going to take this blind hair piece and attach it to the head. And then we have the completed zombie sentry custom. Now sentry is somebody that I kind of forgot to make so once again shout out to Skylar Stone for recommending I make this custom but I gotta say the use of the Parademon torso is pretty nice because as you can see here we have those lines that looks like it's the inside of his body which is kind of creepy but um yeah that's basically it for this custom. Now for the second Marvel Zombie in today's video we have Jean Grey. Now, the legs of this custom minifigure are from Aquaman from the first Justice League movie. The torso we're going to be using is from a Kite Man minifigure, Kite Man Hill, yeah. And we also have some dark green arms and some zombie looking hands. Then, we're going to take this zombie Captain America headpiece and attach it to the torso. And then, for the last piece, we have this. Poison Ivy hair piece, which is from the Lego Batman movie. Pop that onto the head, and then we have the completed Zombie Jean Grey custom. Now, this Zombie Jean Grey custom is based off of Jean Grey's most recent suit from the X Men comics, I believe. I'll leave a picture of the suit on the screen right now. It's actually my favorite Jean Grey suit of all time because it's actually pretty unique, so that's why I decided to base this zombie custom off of that suit for Jean Grey. But um, yeah, that's basically it for this custom. Now for the third Marvel zombie custom in today's video, we have Colossus. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are some dual molded dark grey and red legs which are from a katana minifigure from DC. We're gonna take this yellow batman belt piece and attach it to the legs as well. Then we're going to take this Mr. Miracle torso piece from DC, flip it around, then we're going to take this Aquaman printed arm piece and attach it to the torso, then we have this Rockstar Batman printed arm and attach it to the other side, and we also have some dark grey hands attached. Then we're going to take this red armor piece and attach it to the torso. We're going to take this random Guardians of the Galaxy villain headpiece, which is horrifying, and attach it to the torso. And then for the last piece, we're going to take this black hair piece and attach it right there. And then we have the completed custom. Now, this is actually the second Zombie Colossus custom that I've ever made. I made one for a cancelled X-Men Customs video, and that one wasn't really that good. It looked way too robotic, so this one is definitely an improvement. And I think the use of the Sakaran head from the Guardians of the Galaxy movie is a pretty interesting headpiece that you can definitely use for some custom zombies. But um, yeah. That's basically it for this custom. Now for the fourth Marvel Zombie custom in today's video, we have Captain Britain. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are from the Zombie Captain America minifigure, except this 
right leg piece that I used is from the Sam Wilson Captain America minifigure. Then, we're going to take this Captain Carter torso piece, and we also have some dual molded Sam Wilson Captain America arms attached. And we also have some white hands as well. Then, we're of course going to take a zombie Captain America headpiece and attach it to the torso, and then we're going to take this DCEU Flash helmet piece and pop it onto the head, and then we have the completed Captain Britain costume. Now, this costume minifigure is just a zombie Captain Britain costume. Now, Captain Britain isn't exactly a popular Marvel character, so he's pretty underrated, but I thought I'd show him in my universe as a zombie, and there's like two Captain Britons, I'm pretty sure, so I'm definitely going to be making the other Captain Britain survivor. But um, yeah, that's basically it for this costume. Now for the fifth and last Marvel Zombie costume in today's video, we have Sabretooth. Now the legs of this costume minifigure are from the Mighty Thor Jane Foster minifigure from Thor Love and Thunder. The torso we're going to be using is from a Yellow Lantern Sinestro minifigure, except the torso is reversed. Now on the right we're going to take this zombie Captain America printed arm piece with a yellow hand and then for the left we're going to take this brown arm piece with a yellow hand. Then we're going to take this Craven the Hunter leather piece. We're going to attach this zombie Captain America head to the torso as well and then for the last piece we're going to take this Y-Wing pilot hair piece from Star Wars Rogue One and then we have the completed Zombie Sabretooth costume. Now this Zombie Sabretooth costume is clearly based off of the Sabretooth design from the comics because I don't really like either of the live action Sabretooth designs. Both were pretty mid, but however, the Sabretooth design from the comics is spectacular. So for my universe, Sabretooth has a comic accurate design, but He's also a zombie now, just like his brother Wolfram, he's also a zombie in my universe. But um, yeah, that's basically it for this costume. But anyway, that's basically it for this video. I hope you bros enjoyed part 11 of my LEGO Marvel Zombie series. Part 11 of the Marvel Zombie Survivor series is also coming up next. Now, this video and the past Survivors video both were mainly X-Men related because I want to show a lot more X-Men members or just like mutants for my Marvel Zombies and Marvel Zombie Survivors series. So yeah, expect a couple of more mutant or X-Men related zombies and survivors coming soon. But um yeah, feel free to check out my other videos. I mostly make custom minifigures. Have a great day. See ya bros.